Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, what up? Today I am here to bring you guys spring layering combos using fine fragrance mist and perfumes. You guys have been requesting this video and here it is. I am finally bringing it to you guys. But for those of you who want me to do a just only fine fragrance mist layering video, that is coming as well. I didn't forget about y'all so don't you worry. Just make sure your post notifications are on so that when I upload that video, you guys are alerted and you'll have first access to that video. But y'all, I am back on my grind, okay? I am back on the YouTube grind filming a bunch of videos for you guys I have so much content to put out I have so many videos that's coming videos that I'm really excited about videos that will be really helpful for you guys videos that I think is necessary just a ton of stuff so I hope you guys are definitely subscribed and like I said your notifications are on so that when I post these videos y'all get first access to them because it's a lot it's a lot that's gonna be coming so yeah I'm super excited about everything so yeah without further ado let's get into these combos because I know y'all are excited about them these are very unique they're very fun they're gonna get you guys inspired to start thinking about what you already have in your collection and what you can pair with your perfumes that you already have we all know that spring and summer are really fun seasons they're great for layering products like I cannot wait for the warm weather like seriously really it's already warm here in Arizona for real for real but I just haven't gotten fully into the swing of spring but I think I'm about to with these layering combinations so um yeah, yeah, yeah let's get into it so I'm gonna start off with a combination that I've actually been wearing here recently for my project use it up if you guys don't know when I do my project use it up and I pick certain scents to focus on for the entire month so that I don't get bored of those fragrances I mix them and layer them with other things so that I can create different combinations and I never get bored of the scent because I'm always trying something new with it so that's what I'm gonna be showing you guys right now so my focus scent for March is desert wildflower and as you guys can see I've already put a dent in it and we're only today is the 5th of March so yeah I've already put a huge dent in this fragrance mist and that's because I have been mixing it with ice pear margarita and as you guys can see this one also has a dent in it but ice pear margarita is basically a fresh fruity tangy scent it definitely has that fresh pear fragrance like it smells really really fresh and just juicy and then it also has like this lemony lime fragrance as well some sugar in it it's like sweet but it's still kind of tangy and sour so I've actually been loving these two together because it smells like a sweet fruity tangy fresh floral scent and then I've been topping it off with Burberry Brit which is the perfect combination of both of these scents basically so if you guys don't know Burberry Brit is pretty much a fresh pear fresh limey almond sweet sugary floral scent this is perfection I love this I think this is a definite year-round signature scent type of fragrance and I've actually been savoring this I definitely could have finished off this little tiny bit of perfume that I have in this bottle in a day but I actually decided Decided to savor it so that I can wear it with this combination right here because this is so good the fragrance notes all go together so super well it's very pretty it's fresh it's sweet it's like the perfect combination for spring weather warm weather it's so nice so this is my first combination that I have been using if you guys have these two scents in your collection definitely go ahead and pair them together try them out top it off with Burberry Brit and I promise you this is going to be such a great springtime combination okay so next we're going to be using one of my absolute all-time favorite scents this is berry waffle cone of course i'm going to be pulling this one out for the spring and summer because i just love this scent so so much it's just so creamy and sweet and fruity just such a pretty and fun scent it's nothing too serious it's nothing too perfumey this is just like an easy going easy reach type of fragrance but if you want to give it a little bit of class like this combination is still going to be sweet for sure but if you want to give it a little bit of class a little bit of a luxury type of feel then you definitely want to pair it with love don't be shy or what is it called from dossier flory florian to marshmallow or something like that or caramel overdose from be layered so basically any of the dupe scents for love don't be shy or love don't be shy itself will pair really really nicely with berry waffle cone this is your sugary sweet marshmallow but a little bit of an orange blossom floral sweet scent so these two pair together extremely extremely well and y'all know i am really not the biggest fan of love don't be shy like i don't go gaga over it like most people i think that 
that the scent could definitely be better. That's just my opinion though. Y'all don't come for me. Y'all love Don't Be Shy Stands. Do not come for me. I'm just saying. But when I mix it with Berry Waffle Cone, it is so much better. Like, I just think that this combination is amazing. Very nice for springtime. Like I said, you're going to be sugary sweet, but you're still going to get like the more luxury vibe from Love Don't Be Shy. So I love these two together. So next is gonna be a newer to me perfume. This is Whipped Almond from Mix Bar. I just got in Whipped Almond and Sparkling Hibiscus the other day, so I've been testing them out. Now, first of all, let me just say that Whipped Almond smells exactly like Almond Blossom from Bath & Body Works. So you could definitely mix this with Almond Blossom, but I feel like that's too basic. I feel like that's too obvious. Like to me, that's not a unique combination because all you're doing is amplifying the Almond Blossom scent. So I wanted to mix it with something completely different. So I went with Fresh Coconut Colada from Bath & Body Works. Fresh Coconut Colada is such a great scent. It's like this really milky coconut fragrance, but it still has this fresh beachy element to it it's nice and sweet it also has a vanilla rum note to it as well so i think fresh coconut colada is so good and it really gets you into that like spring summer warm weather mindset so i decided to mix fresh coconut colada with whipped almond because i think this scent goes perfectly together you get that nice creamy sweet almond scent from whipped almond but then like i said you get the creamy milky rum scent from fresh coconut colada this right here is like an ultimate beach spring combination if you guys have any vacations or anything planned for the springtime this is going to be your combination these are amazing together the next combination is another freshy type scent it's not too fresh this is not like a laundry type of scent at all because y'all know I don't vibe with those so Pretty much none of my combinations are gonna be laundry type combos, but we have Pear Glace. And I like Pear Glace because while this scent isn't super duper sweet, it still has some type of sweet sugary element to it. So it's sugar pear and dewy melon, and I feel like it's more of a watery, fresh, sugary scent, if that makes any sense whatsoever. It's just such a good one. It's an easy reach. It smells so amazingly good. I'm pretty sure you would get compliments on this fragrance. This is such a classic. It brings back so many memories every time I smell this scent but I love it with a new perfume that I picked up when I was in Marshalls this is Harajuku lovers love and this is Gwen Stefani's brand of perfumes and basically this is a super freshy scent as well this one is so simple it's literally jasmine pear green apple and it has some musk in it to me like I told you guys when I first got it this one smells like a fresh champagne scent like it smells really really fruity so i love it with pear glace but i've also mixed this one with strawberries and champagne as well so this one you have kind of like a double combination it's whichever one you think pairs better with it but i love it with pear glace because again it has that like pear green apple freshy fruit type of scent so i think these are amazing together this is literally a perfect spring combination it's like a get up and go on the weekend type of scent go to work type of scent it literally would go for any occasion because it it's such an easy, easy reach. So if you guys happen to see this perfume at Marshall's, don't pass it up. It's very simple. It's not complex or anything at all, but it is an easy reach and it's super duper affordable. So why not? Oh my God, you guys, this next combination. I love this one so much. Like, y'all, I love this one so much. I actually wore this one to the movies. Me and my boyfriend went to the movies and oh, I loved this combination. So we have Prada Candy Low. This is a perfume that I didn't even know existed because I don't know, I've, I thought I had seen all of the Prada Candies, but apparently I didn't. This one had been discontinued, so, and I don't know why, because so many people love this perfume. As you guys can see, I've already put a little dent in my bottle. This is a 1.7 um, fluid ounce and I did get it from Fragrance Net. Y'all know all of these perfumes will be linked down in the um, description box. But yeah, Prada Candy Low, this one is, slightly different from all of the other Prada candies. I feel like this one is another like great signature scent every day, any time of the year perfume that you can wear. This one is very simple. It has citrus, some type of floral note, and then it has caramel and benzoin. So super good. So you can kind of smell the DNA of like the original Prada candy in this one, but this one is a lot fresher. This one is a lot lighter. It's not as suffocating. So that's why I say that this one is definitely a year round, easy reach for type of fragrance. When you first spray it, you definitely get that initial blast of the citrus 
citruses and it doesn't really specify what kind of citrus notes is in here but it does have like this really bright airy fun type of scent to it when you first spray it and then you do get some like classy floral scent note in here I can't remember exactly which floral is in here but it's really pretty it's really nice and then you definitely have a sweeter dry down but it's not like super duper toothache inducingly sweet but anyways I love this perfume and I love to mix it with citrus chill from Victoria's Secret so this one is sparkling tangelo almond blooms so while this is more of a citrus fragrance it does have a sweet soft dry down so the almond blooms that's in this one pairs really really nicely with the floral and sweet notes of this perfume so that caramel that benzoin mixes really nicely with this one it's just so good this is literally like a brunch combination it is so pretty it's gorgeous it's feminine just so so nice I love this combination you guys like when I was putting these things together and trying them on my skin y'all I was falling in love that's why I say I feel like you guys are gonna be so inspired by these combinations like really inspired to get in your collection and start finding things to put together because I've just really really been loving them so yeah you have that combination now we're gonna talk about Jimmy Choo's illicit can we first take a moment I bought this perfume in January or the beginning of February and can we can we talk about it can we talk about it I think my bottle is halfway done or a little over halfway done and this is a two fluid ounce bottle but let me explain so snowflakes and cashmere was my focus scent and my project used it up I ended up bringing that scent in I didn't really film it or talk about it but I had brought that scent into my uh, project pan and I was using it with Jimmy Choo illicit because listen these two go together amazingly well so Jimmy Choo illicit it's a really really nice perfume definitely signature scent worthy this one is a very fresh but still sweet perfume it has all of the scent notes of snowflakes and cashmere which is why I like it so much so snowflakes and cashmere has a vanilla cashmere cream this one definitely has vanilla it definitely has cashmere then it has caramel woods this one also has caramel and then it has frosted clementine and this one starts off with this gingery bitter orange scent so it's like they are perfect together and this is what I love to wear but I'm also gonna put y'all on just in case y'all didn't see the comments a lot of people like to mix this one with pumpkin pecan waffles as well as well as coconut cream pie now I have tried it with these two fragrances but my favorite is definitely snowflakes and cashmere just because that's what I mixed it with first and I feel like this combination right here is definitely signature scent worthy so much so to the point where I went through a whole bottle of snowflakes and cashmere using it with this perfume so that's why it has such a huge dent in it but that is definitely a spring combination this is another year-round fragrance but for spring it's really gonna hit so definitely try those combinations out you guys the next perfume we're gonna talk about this is sparkling hibiscus another one that I just got in but y'all as soon as I smelled this perfume I was like this is exactly rose champagne from Bath and Body Works which is one of my favorite scents I really do like this scent I do have a couple of backups of this one it's just so pretty so sparkling hibiscus definitely made its way up to one of my favorites I'm definitely gonna be using this a lot this spring because it smells like rose champagne so this is a great combination again I feel like this is a great Sunday fun day brunch combination right here but I've also mixed sparkling hibiscus with raspberry tangerine and it works I've mixed it with mango temptation from Victoria's Secret and it works as well as coconut hibiscus from Bath and Body Works sparkling hibiscus goes with all of those because it has this fruity berryness it has this sparkling fizziness and then it has a slight floral to me it's more sweet than it is floral but it goes with literally all of those sparkling hibiscus is one of those hybrid scents it can go with so much and I feel like whatever you pair with it that's what's gonna come out the most when you use it so yeah sparkling hibiscus is this this is gonna be amazing for spring if you haven't gotten it yet $20 at Target get you some I have two more combinations for you guys and I love both of them okay I love both of these scents we're gonna start out with Pepe jeans London cocktail edition this bottle can we talk can we take a minute to talk about this bottle this is my second Pepe Jeans London fragrance and I just love these bottles they are so unique in my collection they are so pretty you take the perfume off and this is your sprayer you guys this is a big 3.4 ounce this is just this is a conversation starter right here this bottle is just gorgeous but anyway this is a really fruity sweet perfume think Escada or basically any fruity fine fragrance mist that you could find at Victoria's Secret or Bath and Body Works it's literally like raspberry blueberry 
berry, citrus, it has sponge sugar as a note, it has tiari flower. It's just a really nice spring, warm weather, summertime fragrance. Like it has all of the makings of a warm weather fragrance that you wanna have. So this one is really, really nice. But baby, I decided to mix it with Coconut Granita from Victoria's Secret. So this one is Pink Pineapple Shave Coconut. This right here, this combination right here, baby. So you guys heard all the fruity scent notes that this one has. You could literally mix this with so many fruity scents, like I said. But it's something about this pineapple and coconut watery fragrance that pairs so nicely with this. It is literally mouth-watering. It is so good. It smells like a summer cocktail drink. Super duper yummy. Wear this one to the pool. Wear this one to the beach. It is so, so good. Love these two together. Even the bottles go together really, really nicely. I'm so excited to start taking some trips and start going places so I could really work these perfumes and combinations into my trips because I'm telling y'all these combinations right here are so good. So, so good. My last combination, Velvet Sugar. This is a fragrance that's not necessarily in my Project Use It Up, but I am trying to finish it. This is currently my bedtime scent, so this is what I wear to bed. Velvet Sugar, y'all should already know this one. It's like strawberry cream sugar it's very very sweet very very sexy i really really like it and i'm mixing that with pink sugar red velvet these two together smell amazing so like i told you guys um when i reviewed pink sugar red velvet i don't necessarily get a super heavy red velvet cake note from this like there's definitely something a lot more creamy in this scent but the notes on fragrantica are like strawberry bergamot um whipped cream it doesn't have an actual cake note and it doesn't have a chocolate note so red velvet cake is pretty much chocolate cake and it's dyed red so from this i do not necessarily get a chocolate cake note you get what i'm saying it smells more like a sugary sweet strawberry whipped cream version of the original pink sugar that's Strawberry combination, very sugary, sweet, mouth-watering, gourmand, amazingness. And I feel like this would be great for spring when it's not super duper hot. So this won't get suffocating. But this is definitely heavy on the gourmand, sugary, sweet. But I had to add it in there because y'all know I'm going to wear my sugary, sweet perfumes regardless, okay? So I really like that combination as well. I think it is so yummy, like chef's kiss. So that is everything you guys. Those are all of the combinations that I wanted to show you guys for spring, for this upcoming season, for this warm weather that we're about to be in. And I hope you guys enjoy seeing them. I hope y'all got some inspiration and y'all run into y'all collections right now to start pairing things together. Like I said, I will be having my fine fragrance mist layering video coming as well. Those combinations are gonna be great too. So yeah, that's it. That's everything you guys. If you like this video, you already know, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Let me comment down below and let me know that you enjoyed it if you're new sis thank you so much for watching go ahead and hit that subscribe button join the fragrance and beauty army as well as that bell notification so that you can be notified every single time that i upload a video and i'll see you guys in my next one peace